today I'm going to be going through one of Misako Aoki's Lolita Hair Arrangi videos that she did for Kawaii Patin. It is called A Beret, The Time Saving Styling Hair for a Week, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, you can see my bangs are so stripey right now. I kind of want to like neutralize the dark color that's in my hair, but eh, it's okay. I want to note that my hair is way shorter than hers. My hair is actually curly normally. I washed it, conditioned it, blow dried it, and straightened it a bit. Uh, the bangs always blow dry nice and straight like this, but the rest of the hair can kind of just be frizzy. But I just straightened it because all the looks that she does, she has her hair straight. And I think she's using her natural hair, so I'm using my natural hair. Her hair is colored. And so is mine a little bit. I want to see if I can improve upon any of her looks or if any of the looks she suggests just don't work for me or hopefully maybe I actually find a look that I can do more regularly. I have some supplies here that I'll be using uh, kind of matching what she uses ribbons, little hair clips, things like that. She did seven different styles in this video. I'm gonna do as many as I can. Hopefully I can actually do them all. Let's get started. Remember, nothing is always as it seems. Okay, with this first one, she gets all her hair to one side and it, I think she does three braids and then braids those three braids together. So let's start with one. She says that this style, because it's all kind of braided together, is actually good for rainy days and uh, it's kind of hard to mess it up because um, you're supposed to actually mess up the braids once you're done. Ooh, this braid feels really thin. <laughs> you're supposed to kind of loosen up the braids a bit once you're done. Did I mention I'm not a, <laughs> a beauty guru at all? At all? Like normally all I do is straighten my hair or curl my hair. Uh, you can like hardly tell anything is done besides just like a regular braid. It's okay guys, it's just our first one. I'm gonna pull it. Whenever I pull I get like this. It's just kind of like me. So you like can't even tell that it's braided <laughs> more than, see I always get these holes. <laughs> ah, why do I just have a hole? Just mess it up, just mess it up. <laughs> she adds a few ribbons here and there on it. She adds like one big one right here. So basically covering all your braids that you just did. And then she adds a smaller ribbon here. Just a little bit lower. Maybe she's covering the rubber band a little bit. Then she adds a beret. So it's fine. I guess I would definitely do like matching ribbons though. I don't. I just grabbed these two. Um, I think if you took a little more time on the braids, it would be fine. Okay, this next one, it's called donut. <laughs> it's called donut hair. And she splits it into two. And braid each side. Then she says you're gonna bring it up, basically have this part kind of line up with your lips. So her hair is so long, she's able to take this and bring it like over here. I can't do that, it would just be really high. So if I want to leave, I think for me, 
or if you have short hair, we're gonna have to spread this out a little bit. So to me, this is kind of like an academic style. I don't know why, or like a German barmaid style. That bobby pin's not doing anything. But you can just see there's like fluffs right here. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, it's like a little sailor look. But that's cute. This little button needs help. <laughs> not my favorite one. <laughs> but it's fine if you're just trying to like get your hair up. This one's called pom-pom styling. Both sides are going to be a pom-pom, so you want two of the same ribbons, which I got. So she says, usually she says like, grab it with the fist and then that's where you put the tie. Okay, so you pull it a little. Make pom -pom. I'll just make one up here a little like, it out. Ooh, it's so, such a ball. I think she said kind of pulling at the root a little bit. One pom pom's huge. Too much pom. I think you can you can take the pom back in a little bit this way. You need to like reshape it slightly. That's fine. Let's just do let's do this. So one here. Let's do one here. Kind of cute. Aww. And then she puts a hat on. She puts a hat on after all of them, but I kind of like it like this. Um, I'll show you how I would finish this without a beret. I think I would just finish it with like a big bow. Like that. Or like this one. Or just go, woo, something like this. <gasps> this might be a new clover regular. Bring some strands down on the side. Put like one more. This one's green, but aside from me having to stock up on more bows, this is something I would do for sure. Hmm. All right, get them out of there. All right, this next one she does, she says, for when you wanna be more mature. When do I ever wanna be more mature? She takes a little bit of hair like this in the back. And I gotta be honest, I've never been a braid behind the head kind of person. Some people do can do it without thinking just like they do a braid in the front. That has never been me. I've never been like this braiding. I tried it once the other day just to like see if I can do it uh, so this is gonna look bad y'all <laughs> it's gonna look it's gonna look not so good y'all hi y'all all right my attempt at a braid behind my head this is like the second time in my life I've ever done a braid behind my head Oh no, I've already lost it. I've lost it. <laughs> I've lost it. Alright, it's just gonna be a French braid now. I don't know. Ah. Oh my god. Maybe it can be like a salvaged fishtail. Oh god, well. Oh no. I feel like nothing happened up there. Nothing happened. Nothing really happened on my head. Alright. We're gonna bail. <laughs> I can do a braid, I swear, but it's not behind my head. So we're just gonna go to the side. Because ultimately, she puts a freaking beret on her head, so there's really no reason to have like a braid up here. 
especially I think she does like a French braid where that means you know you just keep gathering hair from either side onto it. Uh, I'm so sad. I'm not really. Not I'm not that sad because honestly, like I said, you're wearing a beret. You're not gonna see all the work that you do like up here on the braid. It's really just this bottom part. I don't need to do that. <laughs> Okay, and then she curls this little end bit, which would be very cute if you have a little extra hair to like do that with. She says that thin bangs are in right now. I mean, this video is like a couple years old, but I've been watching some like Japanese TikToks and stuff and the girls definitely have thin bangs. I'm like, okay, well I recently got bangs cut, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait for <laughs> thick bangs to be a thing again. I would like consider I want it to sit like that. Not like that. <laughs> so maybe a small pin on it. So this next one she says is pretty much like the donut hair from before and you're supposed to have the braids go as close to the tip as possible. This one she calls strawberries. Oh, her strawberries like hit here on her. Like she basically just goes like that. So for me, yeah, I would just have to go one. And then she does the little hair tie. Again, I don't know why this is called a strawberry. It's kind of just like a braid that you wrapped up. I mean, honestly, since they're so small, it's just kind of like... Oh, this is kind of cute. Hey, look, strawberries. <laughs> I kind of like this where you can like see the just a little bit of braid like oh hello this would be pretty good this would feel like pretty secure all day I would I would personally like tighten it a little more like do a little hairspray but like that's cute right just have a little ribbon have it peeping through throw that beret on because this is all about berets apparently Deconstruct. Oh my god, how many more hairstyles? So this one, she says she gets a little organza. And she pins it, like right here. And then you... <laughs> braid it through. this part into a ribbon, into a bow. I think her ribbon was like a little bit thicker. And she also got all of her hair into the ribbon. Yeah, I, th I think if you spent like a little more time on the bow at the bottom or had a, it's a ribbon that's not like so, I don't know rough like this one is. It's like rich anime girl hairstyle. Like everything's straight, but just this one little braid. Mm, 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 mm. Next is a bit mature beret hair arrangement. The others, you thought we were mature level. We weren't. We weren't even close yet. We weren't close to being mature yet. She says, Make a braid and make it kind of loose. Make it all loosey goosey. I'm kind of surprised she didn't do like a fishtail braid. I think, um, I think you could probably do headdresses as well as a beret because you're covering a lot of your head. 
is the point on some of these. You're covering up some of the sins. Look how loosey-goosey I made it. Oh my god. Is this loose enough? I made it like too loose. Then she's like, she says she has so many bangs that she suggests like cutting, cutting your bangs. She suggests taking like half your bangs away and like leaving half down, I think is what she goes for. Make it like lighter. Hey girl, I want big fluffy bangs. I want big old fluffy bangs, but I'm gonna do this for you. So I'm gonna pin all my bangs to the side. Oh wow, it's so thin, <laughs> like king. Then she puts on her super mature, so mature beret. So mature. So you do that, and she's like, put a bow on it. Oh my god. Oh, help me. Oh, there's like no hair for it to grab onto. Her final step to this look. Super duper cereal, super mature glasses. So you can show everyone that you are a scholarly student of Lolita. You are an advanced pupil of Lolita. <laughs> what did you think? What was your favorite one? Um, what was your least favorite one? I definitely know mine. Ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not. I think my favorite is honestly the pom pom hair because you can like. You can add so many different little like matching clips on either side and it just looks really cute. What do you guys think? Do you prefer wigs? Do you prefer your own hair? I think a lot of people I've met in Lolita just really don't like their own hair. So they go for wigs. But you know, you can work on your own hair. You can grow it out. I trim my bangs almost like every day to try to straighten and work on them. I hope we all learned something today and I hope that we can do a new style in our chords together in the future. Just remember what I always say. There's no such thing as perfect. Bye!